Pastor Jack Hibbs encourages Christians to not vote as a Democrat. He specifically has called the Democratic Party a death cult. So let's listen in to what Pastor Jack Hibbs had to say. Hey, everybody. Let me, first of all, preface what I'm about to say, because it's so volatile. It gets everybody all freaked out um, that I personally am um, a monarchist. Um, I believe in a ruling reigning king. I'm waiting for him to bring his politics to us in his coming. Having said that, um, I'm more of a uh, person who refuses to uh, uh, indicate. You, so what are you, Republican or Democrat? Both parties drive me nuts. Uh, there used to be a difference between the two. Not so much, but let me put it to you this way. Regarding this upcoming election, who should you vote for? For the Christian, it's super easy. It's super easy. Because if you pull back rhetoric and e emotion, it's a slam dunk. There is one party that's more pro-life than the other. In fact, the other is 100% pro-death. It's a death cult. And I'm talking about the Democrat Party. The Democrat Party is, in fact, a bona fide, card-carrying, platform-holding death cult. Kill the baby, even after it's born, kill the baby. Just on this topic alone, a Christian cannot vote for a Democrat candidate. It's impossible. You cannot say to God, I am a, a lover of God, a lover of the Word, a lover of Jesus, and I'm a, a follower of my Lord, but I'm going to vote to kill babies. You can go ahead and do that, but you're going to stand if, uh, before the Lord to give an answer for that. The flip side is this. I'm going to vote Republican for this reason, because with that, I get J.D. Vance. I get Tulsi Gabbard. I get, I think, Secretary Mike Pompeo will probably be back in a secretary position in some other area, perhaps, other than the State Department. Uh, but we are going to have uh, a, a plethora of great people in their lane. Uh, and it is not totally, but it is still a pro-life platform. And um, that's how I'm going to vote. If you vote for one, you get death. If you vote for the other, you get a lot of, a lot of good stuff uh, with that candidate. So um, that's, that's how you should vote if you're a believer. If you're a non-believer, you're going to do what you want to do anyway. So what do you guys think of what uh, Pastor Jack Hibbs has stated about voting for a Democrat? Let me let me say this. Let me be perfectly clear, as transparent as I can be. Whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, you idolize Trump. Or you hate Kamala Harris or vice versa. We will all have to give an account to God. We know that the election is coming up and it's a hot topic. But are you a believer in Jesus Christ? Have you put your faith in Jesus Christ? Are not. No matter what, we're all going to have to answer to God for our actions, for our deeds, for our thoughts. And yes, the Democratic Party, their policies is specific to deleting a baby, unaliving a baby. I'm not going to get into the specifics on that because this is not. That is not what this video is about. We all have a conscience. We all have different convictions. We all have different levels of our convictions. But we have to point everyone to God. We have to, we have to point every Christian to search his or, his or her heart, examine their thoughts, and to pray and to ask God to convict them of whatever decisions, thoughts, political party that they may be voting for or the thoughts that they may have. But again, let me know what you guys think of this. Um, 
there's some policies. There's some Christians, some Bible believing Christians who love the Lord with all of their heart that are Democrats. There's hundreds of policies. That the Democrats, you know, um, rally for. There's hundreds of policies that Republicans rally for. And pro-life is one of the, the bigger issues. But you may have a Christian that believes in God fully, that has accepted him into their heart, that is convicted by the Holy Spirit, that may vote for a Democrat because they may want more equality. Equality across the board. You may have a conservative Christian who wants, I don't know, less taxes or more taxes. Whatever it is, we're all going to have to answer to God, Christian or not. Now, to say that the Democratic Party is a death cult to each his own, and I've listened to Jack Hibbs, you know, real radio for years now. I actually like Jack Hibbs, but I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments, because as Bible believing Christians, yes, there are convictions that are rules. There are rules. But there's also different convictions and in, in levels of our beliefs. So say what you want to say, but you can be a Christian and vote Democrat. You can be a Christian and vote Republican. You can be a Christian and idolize Donald Trump. You can be a Christian and idolize Kamala Harris. If you idolize a person, if you idolize a platform, you're going to have to give an account to God for that. No man is good, not one. No man is perfect, not one. So again, this is a hot topic. And this, these debates have been going on for years and, and, and centuries now. But pray for me as I pray for you. Let's pray for the entire nation, the entire world. So again, let me know what you guys think of this. Thank you for your support. Take care.